Hi, everyone, and welcome to the special simulcast of the Neil Haley Show and the Dr. Christopher Hall Show. Dr. Christopher Hall is sponsoring this. He's a Nobel Prize nominated doctor. He is a best selling author and emergency room physician. I know he's excited to be part of this interview. Guest today is Rory Culkin of Five Pounds of Pressure. Rory, thanks for stopping by, man. And you know what? I was blown away by your character and how your character developed throughout this this movie. Tell us a little bit of the premise of this of your character. Oh, like thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's 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 an interesting one. It's sort of about. Uh, the crime world in, in, in Brooklyn. And I play uh, Mike who's sort of grew up in this world and uh, is looking for a way out of it and kind of just fumbling every step of the way. So, yeah. He did. And you know what? And he seemed like a really a uh, big goof, uh, not a big goof, but a small goof goofball at the beginning, but at times he seemed really smart at times and then just went out and made bad decisions, but that's a lot of people, right? They have good street smarts in some ways, but other ways they just fall right up flat on their face. Yeah. You sort of, you, for whatever reason you expect more from him, even though he, he just shows time after time that he just can't make a good decision. Um, and yeah, he's just sort of, like I said, he's just sort of fumbling the whole time. And from the moment we see him, we realize he makes bad decisions because he's wearing a, a leather cowboy hat and a trench coat. Uh, and it's just like, don't, shouldn't you know better? You're, you're selling drugs and you're, you stick out like a sore thumb. You're kind of, it, it's ridiculous. <laughs> no, it, it definitely is. But the character really stole the show in, in so many ways. And the other part of the story that was so powerful was the story about another one of the characters and his, his son, and being locked up for so many years and then came back. I mean, that really, I was rooting for him so much in the story and people would definitely have to watch it, but it broke my heart to see that the relationships, right? A lot of these things were based on bad decisions and relationships with lack of communication and poor decisions. The whole film, every one of them, every, probably every character made very bad decisions. Uh, even if you were like ranking it and saying, Hey, a drug dealer should, it doesn't make good decisions ever, but ultimately they run their business. Right. But everybody wasn't really watching their back or thinking about things. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's a film about, about poor decisions and, and, and trying to bounce back from those. And, and, you know, sadly, not everyone can recover from poor decisions. You make one, one bad move and that could be it for you. Um, yeah, and it's, I guess, it's sort of uh, people attempting to redeem themselves, and a lot of them fail. And congratulations on the success so far on Rotten Tomatoes of the film. I saw it, it was like at 80. It's You guys are doing really well, and of, of the feedback of the film. And I mean, seriously, it was one that I, at the end, said, wow, I want more. That the story was so well done. Oh, sick. Thank you so much. I didn't realize that about the the rotten tomatoes I, I didn't check that out that's cool yeah i did a google search and it said 80 i have to i mean i'll make sure if i was right if i misquote myself but it looked good i mean and, and that's the thing what i just I mean it really just was well done by the director i'm going to be speaking with him on monday and what do you feel like the story it just fit the everyone the cast and everyone fits so well in this story oh thanks yeah yeah he uh Phil, the director, he he would sort of keep me updated on on casting and who he hired, and uh, yeah, it was nice to be sort of a part of that process. We're, we both live in Brooklyn, and uh, yeah, it was nice to be to be so close to to it the whole time. When did you film that movie, by the way? Where? When did you? What time of year? When oh, years? When, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was the end of twenty two, uh, and yeah, we filmed it in in Manchester shooting Manchester for Brooklyn. Uh, yeah, I think it was the, the end of 2022. And I think, the, again, the, the the title of the film, Five Pounds of Pressure, kind of describe what that title for our listeners and viewers. Uh, yeah, Five Pounds of Pressure is, is the amount of pressure you need to pull a trigger. And it can obviously change your life and 
someone else's life or your own. And, uh, yeah, it's just all, all it takes is, is five pounds of pressure to totally destroy your entire life. Um, and I, I guess, yeah, it's just a, it's just, uh, again, it's just about making a bad decision. I think everyone made bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. And probably one of the main, your, the other main character, uh, that you can speak about a little bit. Um, the one that was incarcerated, go explain a little bit of that character. Cause that's a really good kind of parallel between you two where he was looking to make a good decision every time and everyone else pulled him back in. Yeah. Yeah. Luke Evans plays, a uh, plays Adam who made a poor decision years earlier and was, um, did time in prison for that and then he, he's just trying to redeem himself and, and you know clean his hands of, of anything and then you see sort of younger versions of him i guess in, in other characters that are going down the similar path that he did and, and just showing how history kind of repeats itself in, in these worlds all right i just pulled this up rory for you 80 percent. i am correct rotten tomatoes for this nice one. Yeah. yeah, it's got to feel great. And, you know, uh, how difficult is it, to, you know, to be in such a acting family, right? And now how you have to prove yourself? Is it is it hard? Or is it drive you to become better and better? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it, it, it drives me to be better. I'm always inspired when I see my brother's work. And, uh, you know, I, every time I step on the set, I, uh, I have to remind myself, don't embarrass the family. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, no, it's, we're, uh, you know, I try to do good work, not just for me, but, but for my family and the people around me too. You know? Well, I recommend everyone see the film because it's, I've not seen a good film in a while. So there you go. So you, you got, you got my endorsement completely. Cause I'm, I'm telling you with the lack of no content right now, just to, to get my heart, you know, really torn and tear it up that it was a tear it was a tearjerker film it really was and then and congrats with what you've been able to do from this uh, other projects coming up for you rory you would like to promote oh well, thank you so much uh things are still sort of in the edit and coming out down the line it's something called uh degenerate something called dead guy uh both features but uh yeah they're still in the edit so it'll be some time but hopefully we can talk again when those come out what do you do? What do you think when you think about how you've created yourself as a, your, the characters that you create on film? What what inspiration do you draw from? Um, you know, I guess you sort of you borrow from your own life and exaggerate certain things and certain feelings. But uh, yeah, I'm sort of open to anything. Like Mike was just a complete screw up, and 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 that was attractive to me. You know, I don't I don't mind getting my ass kicked on camera. I don't mind you know, sort of getting humiliated on, on camera if it makes for an interesting character. So, um, yeah, I think just different ways to, to stretch yourself and, and, you know, I'm just always, I'm always open to anything. So that see, and that's interesting. And I, I, I definitely want to see some of the other stuff now because of you're just really good. So I really see a big career coming for you, man. I really do. And I think this film, if you definitely are getting the, if the rotten tomatoes leads to the box office, there's bigger and better things coming for you, but this was a, such a great uh, story. Where can people follow you, Rory? Where's the best place? You know, uh, just sort of watch my my movies and in, in, in TV. I don't, I never had social media, and I'm afraid to start. So, uh, yeah, you know, just just check out so, check out my work wherever you can find it. <laughs> so your character in this film is kind of like you in a little bit. You're different. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe hopefully not too too similar but yeah yeah I could but the different different in the way of just being different you don't care about what people think and that character didn't yeah and you sure as hell don't there you go yeah. and that's important because yeah. that's how we can differentiate ourselves in such a competitive red ocean if you're talking about acting you're talking about any type of branding you differentiate yourself that's what leads to the big thing so i i, re I wish you the best i you know continued success rory and thanks for stopping by yeah, thank you so much. It's great talking to you.